So it is graduation day. I have woke up, ate a bowl of cereal. I've clearly not gotten ready. And I've been watching uh, Texas Flip and Move or something. It's like house um, renovation show. And well, that's about it. You can hear our roosters outside. I think it's around 10. I got up at about 9.07. And we got a package arrived. I think it's my graduation gift that my mom was hoping would come in on time. And it did. So, and I went out and I put a letter in the mail. But other than that, that's about all I've done. I think it's a great start to my graduation day. It feels really good outside. It's been raining this whole weekend, or over this past weekend. Today is Monday, the May 18th. And it's not humid like it was yesterday. So I'm hoping that the weather stays good for tonight. My ceremony is at 6.30, so... Um, yeah, that's the extent of it, I guess. We'll see what the rest of the day, my day holds. I think my grandparents are going to come by around 3. And then my aunts and uncles are going, going to ride with us to my ceremony because there's only one car per graduate but we'll see how it goes down okay so i've taken a shower as you can probably tell by my wet hair and i have went outside before i took my shower and fed the animals just so i won't have to get dirty again i live on a farm as you can probably tell from the roosters horses whatever making sound in the background parrots i don't know but yeah and I've got my outfit all laid down. I done that last night. I got my speech printed. They're supposed to have a uh, copy printed out for me there. But I'm going to bring a copy just in case. I think it is two. And we have to be up at the school by 6. The ceremony starts at 6.30. So I've got a good bit of, bit of time. But my grandparents are supposed to be here pretty soon. Like I think three. But I wanted to get all my other stuff done before they got here. So then I can spend time talking to them. Just because they won't be able to ride in the car with us we don't have enough room and they won't be able, they probably wouldn't hear as well um in the car so yes my aunt and uncle and cousins that are riding with me they actually my cousins their twin cousins actually graduated also today sixth grade and so i'm happy for them they're going to ride with me and my parents and my sister to watch me graduate this afternoon and we're going to come back home and my mom had decorated the living room and we're gonna, she also fixed the cake and decorated it. So we're gonna have a little party here afterwards and live it up, I guess. It's not how I thought it'd go down, but am I mad about how it's going down? No, I'm happy given the circumstances and I think everything will work out great. I'm just happy I don't have to wait till July or August to have a graduation. This might not be traditional, but it works. Also went ahead and wrote my junior friend, Whitney, a little letter that, you know, it's faulted, of course, but I'm gonna give that to her either tonight. I think she's getting to ride with one of my friends or just whenever I see her next. So I'm sure we'll go out and eat somewhere once El Prion officially opens back up their dining area and it's, you know, safe too and everything. So I brought her a note and yeah, I also got some more graduation money in the mail today. So I'm happy about that, you know, of course, he's not happy about receiving money, but I'm happy with the cards and everything. They're really sweet. So it's more than just the money. I guess it's the thought too. So, okay. So my grandparents are here now and we've been chatting it up, you know, um, catching up because we haven't seen each other uh, close to close for a little bit. Um, and I'm about to try on my cap and gown, my shirt, get all dressed up so I can take pictures with them. Diploma and then give the precision and Garrett. When Logan's family procedure, and then blah, 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 and then you do ceremony. And I'd like to recognize the senior class valedictorian, have him come to the stage and give his speech. And this year, the class of 2020 valedictorian is Logan Starkey. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I can remember walking into the Washtaw High School entrance, right on the other side of what now stands as the Art and Music Building, with my sister while I was carrying an armful of binders as a jittery seventh grader 
on a rainy day. I think Mary Morris sang it best. When there ain't a crack in the foundation, I know any storm we're facing will blow right over while we stay put. The house don't fall when the bones are good. Thank you, Washtenaw High, for providing me with a strong, solid foundation. We did it, guys. Thank you. God bless. Logan Keith Starkey. Logan is the son of Keith and Angela Starkey. He is the 2020 class valedictorian. He was the beta club president, student council president, yearbook editor-in-chief, senior class president, FBLA president, FCCLA president. He was a fire marshal and a member of Gifted and Talented. Logan was a family and consumer sciences completer, a child care guidance completer. He was a recipient of the DAR Good Citizen Award. He was a Boy State delegate, a governor's honor scholar. He was a Kodo September Senior of the Week. He won the yearbook award for most dedicated staffer. He won the Outstanding Achievement Award in AP Literature and Composition and the Child Care Award. Logan was a completer of nine college hours. He was a recipient of the HSU Presidential Scholarship, the National Genealogical Society Rubicam Youth Scholarship Runner-Up, Arkansas Academic Challenge Scholarship recipient. Logan plans to enroll in a dual program of study at Henderson State University and Logan University to complete a doctorate in chiropractics. Logan Keith Starkey. the end of my graduation day. My party has ended, it ended about two hours ago. I think it's almost midnight. We had cake, ice cream, and just talked and celebrated. It was really fun and I honestly could not ask for a better day. It was perfect. And also real quick, I have some bucket list stuff to mark off. So May 10th, 2016, I wrote out my goals and wants for high school. And there's a good list of them. There's graduate, graduate with honors, be valedictorian or salutatorian, and I spelled valedictorian wrong. I spelled it with a V, which I've recently found out it's not. Have a 4.0 GPA, attend both junior and senior high prom, be a mascot for one year, have a perfect attendance senior year, start my own extracurricular activity, go through without any discipline notices, be senior high beta president, be class president, have a letterman. Be on journalism, be in homecoming, be the prom prince or king, and be in one drama play. So here is the big moment where I mark off my stuff. This is, the, this is it. I'm done with high school, so. Oh.